Hey, good Thursday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this August the 29th, 2013. Overall, it's been mainly a cloudy day and very humid as well. Some drier air is now starting to punch in behind the cold front. And now we're starting to see a little bit of sunshine returning before the uh, sun sets at this late 7 o'clock hour. Uh, let's get you into the forecast. A lot going on over the next couple of days. you got the Labor Day weekend, ECU football, touchdown Friday, all of that. And hopefully we get some good weather, but it does look like it is going to be good for us as we head into the weekend and to partially start off the first part of the week. Let's get into that right now. All right, here's some of the current temperatures. We're doing this at uh, 710 on this Thursday. 77 in Greenville, some rain-cooled air here, and as well as in Edenton and Havelock. Uh, we've seen some uh, warmer temperatures uh, this afternoon. We got as high as 86 in Greenville. Uh, down towards the south, we've been as high as 88 down at Richlands. It's down down to 81 with more clouds starting to move into portions of those areas. And also a few showers uh, down there in Onslow County as well, down near uh, uh, the Highway 172 corridor at the bridge over the New River down there. Uh, overall, things are looking good for us this evening. Now, let's talk dew points. Uh, they've been running quite high. We're in the muggy category, almost oppressive for many areas. 73 the dew point currently in Greenville. So the dry air has been lagging behind. I think tomorrow we get the best shot of dry air, but dew points are only going to drop down uh, really into the mid to upper 60s. So it's still going to feel a little bit on the muggy side. Not all that dry of air uh, like we saw this past weekend moving into the area. Currently, we've got dew points in the 70s uh, for Wilson, Greenville, Goldsboro, Richlands, and Emerald Isle, as well as Manio. Uh, so we're not going to expect very much in the way of dry uh, air moving in. But all the winds are now coming out of the northeast. Uh, that usually is a drier, uh, well, a cooler wind for us uh, across the east. And you see the higher wind speeds as you head closer to the coastline. Uh, Elizabeth City coming up to 16 miles per hour. This is sustained winds uh, at this current time. And deeper inland, we have lighter winds. Uh, just because of the pressure gradient with the low pressure center that is off the coast right now, that is what is helping to uh, get those winds going along the coast. So what we got going on right now, cold front pushing southward right now, showers and thunderstorms uh, outbreaking along and south of that, and moving towards uh, Columbia, South Carolina, also over towards Myrtle Beach this evening. And once again, most of this is going to die out fairly quickly this evening. Not a lot of, uh, uh, of good... Uh, instability this afternoon thanks to the cloud coverage that we had through much of today across eastern North Carolina so we didn't see very much in the way of thunderstorm activity there were a few spotty showers uh, earlier on this evening but have now since died out uh, here's a look inside the forecast spotty showers and storms tonight winds turn more easterly going into tomorrow as the high pressure ridge builds off towards the east good football weather for us as we head into your uh, Friday and even into your Saturday as well as the ECU Pirates take on Old Dominion. We'll get into that forecast here in a minute as well. The winds will turn southerly as we head into uh, Saturday and that stalled boundary that came through here today starts to research north as a warm front heading in towards Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, that's going to keep the weather a little bit unsettled and also bring up the temperatures as well late uh, for Saturday as well as on Sunday and into Monday as well. We're talking about some warm stuff in here and with that low pressure moving northward as well, winds will turn westerly and something that we call compressional heating coming off of the mountains is going to take place heading towards Sunday and Monday. So temperatures will be quite a bit warmer than what we're experiencing for Friday and uh, even for uh, Saturday. Uh, it's still going to be hot on Saturday, but uh, it's still even warmer heading in towards Sunday and Monday. All right, let's take you into the uh, precision forecast model. Uh, 11 o'clock tonight, temperatures down into the lower and middle 70s for most of us. Clouds should be breaking up just a touch uh, tonight. Now, we will add in the uh, possibility for a little patchy fog tomorrow morning, so give yourself enough time to get between point A and point B. We'll wake up upper 60s and low to mid 70s uh, tomorrow. Low clouds will be the issue tomorrow, but I think they're going to be uh, just widely scattered enough that you're going to see sunshine. So a mixture of sun and clouds through tomorrow. Now, I think the 88 in Greenville, a little too warm, but I think most of us about 84 to about 86 tomorrow afternoon on average. There may be one or two sprinkles still left over, but I don't expect many people getting wet 
heading through your day on Friday. And most of the football games, if not all of the football games, should be dry for your day on uh, Saturday uh, for Friday. So let's take a look at the precision forecast model through the next couple of days. High pressure ridge builds off to the east. You see the rain shower activity trying to sneak in here on the forecast model by uh, by Saturday. I don't think it makes its way inland as far as Greenville, but by Sunday we'll get a better chance for showers in here through the afternoon hours. If you do have plans heading out to the Old Dominion game on uh, on Saturday, 88 the high temperature. It's going to be a hot and humid day, and through the game. Looking good for us. Kickoff at 7 p.m. 86 the temperature with partly cloudy skies. We'll see the temperature starting to fall off just a little bit as we head through the evening hours with those partly cloudy skies. So overall, not too bad of a forecast for the ECU uh, home opener this year in the season opener as well. All right, let's look out to the tropics real quick and uh, some interesting things going on. Uh, we got a 10% hatched area here for this little area of disturbed weather in the central Atlantic and a 30% hatched area coming off the uh, African coast. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think I've seen this uh, this high of a rating for a system that is still inland on the African coast. It will be rolling off over the uh, next, uh, say, 24 hours, and the wind shear is starting to go down, the dry air starting to go down a little bit. So this may be the prime time for some development into the uh, Atlantic Ocean, into the deep tropics, and we're getting very, very close to the peak of hurricane season. So it's something that we're going to have to watch over the next couple of days. And I will say this, looking at some of the computer modeling, only one model actually developed something in the next uh, really 16 days, and that's the the uh, Canadian model. It, it spurs up a, uh, a tropical system coming up the east coast. But like I said, that's just one model, one run. We're not expecting that right now, and especially considering the fact that it is way out there. We're talking uh, probably if it were to happen, it would be two weeks from now that we're talking about that. So we're still way ways away from that. But we have two systems that we are keeping a track on over the next couple of days. And we'll see if anything does develop out there in the deep tropics. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We'll go to 87 tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies. We'll call it a mixture of sun and clouds. Likely going to start off with fog and some cloud, uh, some uh, clouds in the morning. And then uh, breaking up through the afternoon hours. Uh, rain chances will be minimal. Same thing for Saturday. And we get even warmer for Saturday. We'll go to 88. And you saw on the long range precision forecast model, it's trying to bring in a few showers down south. I don't think it's going to be all that great. I think ECU football will be dry and we're good to go. Sunday, better chance for rain moves into the forecast. Warmer with that westerly wind coming off of the mountains. We'll go with a 30% chance for rain, 90 the high temperature. We may be even a bump higher on uh, Monday, but still a better chance for rain at that point. 40% for your Labor Day. So if you have plans heading down to the beaches across the east, you may want to second guess that. I don't think everybody's going to get rained on that day. I think the better chance for rain actually comes in here on Tuesday. We may bump up that uh, rain chance to about 50% come Tuesday as you're heading back to work. And by Wednesday, with the cold front sweeping through here, uh, some cooler temperatures, slightly lower humidity values, and drier uh, skies. And we'll go with 0% rain chances. That's how confident we are at this point. Uh, with that forecast, even six, seven days out, temperatures will be a touch cooler as well. We'll be into the uh, middle 80s uh, those afternoons. That'll do it for me here on the ENC Weather Update. You can always stay up to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Next update here by tomorrow afternoon. Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer's in tonight at 10 on the CW and 11 o'clock on uh, WNCT. Dante Jones in tomorrow morning for Morning Edition. And I'm in tomorrow evening for David uh, on the uh, television side, so you can check me out there. Uh, and we'll keep you updated on all the latest on our social media networks. You guys have a great evening, a great Friday, and a great Labor Day weekend.